Yeah, good day. Uh, today I'm going to have a bit of a look at the old uh, Walkera 2G uh, gimbal that I've had. Um, I've had it for quite a while and I uh, did a video a long time ago on it balancing an SJ4000 camera on it. Well, I've got the uh, Git 2 now um, as my replacement camera and it fits in here quite nicely. And I just very lightly pop a rubber band over it. But again, we're going to have an issue with balancing. Now, this is a uh, narrower camera than the uh, original SJ4000 uh, that I had. So we have a different sort of um, problem with balance. We still have, obviously, the weight dropping to one side. But with this one, the solution is you, you, you've got two solutions I suppose one you could put a, a counterbalance on the bottom if you wanted to to build it, uh, bring it back up but I really don't want to add any extra weight to the uh, gimbal so my thoughts are this little plate at the back here um, I can't see any reason why I can't cut that away and then slide the actual camera across into that position so it should then balance a lot freer so I'm going to have a go at it today and uh, see what it comes up like. I've only got one shot at it. I don't know whether it's going to work. Um, so it'll either be successful or a waste of time. But we'll have a go at it and find out. I have uh, covered the gimbal with uh, just a little plastic bag, a bit of elastic to hold that in place. As I'm grinding this little bit of metal away from here, uh, I don't want any filings getting into the gimbal motors, so just a bit of plastic, a bit of extra precaution. I've got a, a Dremel clone or a little Ozito if you um, want to sort of call it by its proper name. Uh, this little grinder on the end, and I'm hoping that uh, grinding this little plate down the end here, which is that section there, uh, we should be able to uh, slide the uh, camera in and out successfully. Now, in any uh, instance where you're using power tools, Always wear some protective glasses. Uh, metal filings uh, shot into the eye are not a good option. So um, we'll have a crack at that in a second. I'll uh, get myself positioned and see what we can come up with. I've uh, just put a little bit of a mat underneath so I can catch any of the filings that drop off. And uh, let's see what happens now, shall we? Fingers crossed it'll work. got the idea I'll uh, proceed to do this uh, off camera because it's very difficult for me to get the correct angle at the moment. Um, sits in okay we can now slide into whatever we want for balancing I'll just take off that, I'll pop a rubber band on and uh, we'll see what the result is. Hopefully it'll be a good one, otherwise I've just uh, wasted my time. And uh, here we are, this is the, uh, the finished uh, grinding that I've been doing. As you can see it's uh, ground away the bit of metal on the end there. And we'll pop the uh, cameras in and uh, give them a bit of a wobble around and see how it goes. And uh, here we go, just showing you the finished result. As you can see, she's balanced. And that's not adding any extra weight to the actual gimbal at all. That's a just simple little modification I've made. Now that's the Git 2 that's sitting physically in there at the moment. I'll. Uh, Pop the SJ4000 in there as well, just to give you an idea as to uh, how good this actually works. We have the, uh, the old SJ4000. And again, this has got absolutely no weight on it at all. This is just after the little modification I've made by cutting that little bit of extra metal away from the gimbal housing. So um, I would suggest probably looking at the way it balances, I'd say probably a little bit of extra weight on the back to um, make it sit in there a little bit better than what it is. But apart from that, the uh, horizontal is perfect. I, I can't fault it. 
So there you are, nice simple modification, cost you absolutely nothing to do it. If you have these uh, gimbals, give it a go. Um, it'll work obviously with the plastic ones a lot better than the metal, because this took quite a while for me to cut it back. But uh, that's all you've got to do, is just slice that little bit of metal off the back, slide your camera in this direction a little bit, so you've got a gap on the other side as you can see there, and uh, depending on what camera you've got, it should uh, be able to be balanced nice and easy in here. Oh, and by the way, GoPros, yeah, they still work too, so <laughs> you haven't lost the ability to use it. And uh, I truly hope you've enjoyed this and uh, got something out of it, because I certainly have. I've got, a, <laughs> I've got a gimbal that works with multiple cameras now, and I don't have to add weights. I mean, that is great. I love it. Catch you later. Bye.